valve train development. It all starts with the biggest damn cam core you can put in an engine. And the reason that is we can have more nose radius. As the core gets bigger, the nose radius gets bigger. And if you think about this, you really want a lot of lift at the cam and not much rocker ratio to get to the point you want to be. Because with rocker ratio, the engine turns over way too hard because of the leverage factor. So if you want an inch of lift, it'd be better to have a 625 lobe with a 175 rocker than a 560 lobe with a 19 rocker. If, if, if you get Dean or a good cam designer to work with you as you go up in cam core size, you'll find that the cam doesn't flex enough, the duration can be reduced a little bit, which reduces the overlap, which increases the cylinder pressure, and then you can start working on this rocker ratio thing, which makes the engine turn easier. And frictional power is what we're talking about here with rings and pistons and all that other stuff. And down on oil, oil ring, down on top and second ring tensions, and real thin oil, and everything we do to eliminate friction. The other, two, the other thing is valve springs. I think everybody runs too much valve spring. And that may be because the cam is wrong. Or it may be because somebody told you to, just like this balancing thing. But you start taking valve spring away from your engines, and they're just going to make more power. Whether you put them in taller or change the spring entirely, it's just going to make more power. Push rods. You just can't put a big enough push rod in it. I mean, you just can't. So it's all about getting that thing as straight as you can, away from the port, you know, maximizing the, maximizing the push rod, um, getting the valve train sweep, the rocker arm to sweep properly on the valve and the angle of the adjuster and how the push rod enters it so that that works properly as well. Um, we, we've helped a lot of guys over, over this summer um, with, you know, small block Chevy, iron-headed circle track engines. There's some bad rocker arms out in this, in this building that people don't really know about. I'm not going to mention any names because I don't want to get sued for slander or anything. But there are some bad parts out there. And, and people are using um, tools that don't work, push rod checking tools and different things. And, and the explanation of what the sweep should be is pretty simple. Dave back there can tell you, I can tell you, um, all you need is a magic marker in your eyeballs in about 20 seconds and you either know it's right or wrong, especially with a shaft rocker. And then with a, push, with a stud mounted rocker, you got to have the right length push rod and, and, and the stud's got to be in the right place relative to the length of the valve and the tip of the valve. So you can't, everything, everything in that valve train is real important, but it starts out with, if you can put a bigger core in it, absolutely, positively do that. And put the biggest wheel on the lifter you can, because that coincides with, with the nose radius. So if you can run a, a you know, a 850 wheel versus a 750 wheel, that's what you need to do. If you can run a bigger wheel than that, more the better. 